Hello viewers, welcome to Math Tech. I am Amit Sharma. In this video, we are going to solve questions from 46 to 48 of chapter 2 from the book Contemporary Abstract Algebra by Joseph Galen. So without a delay, let's start. Question number 46. Prove that this set of all rational number of the form 3 to the power m, 6 to the power n, where m and n are integer is a group under multiplication. Let Q containing the element of the type 3 to the power m, 6 to the power n, where m and n are integer, and multiplication be the binary operation on Q. Let x, y belongs to Q. This implies x can be written as 3 to the power m1, 6 to the power n1, and y can be written as 3 to the power m2, 6 to the power n2, where m1, m2, n1, n2 belongs to z. Now, x into y can be written as 3 to the power m1 into 6 to the power n1 into 3 to the power m2, 6 to the power n2. And this can be written as 3 to the power m1 plus m2, 6 to the power n1 plus n2. This is belongs to Q. Why it is so? Because it is of the type 3 to the power m and 6 to the power n. And m1 plus m2, n1 plus n2 belongs to z. Since x and y are arbitrary element of Q, this implies x into y belongs to Q for all x, y belongs to Q. Thus, Q is closed under binary operation multiplication. Let x, y, z belongs to Q. This implies x can be written as 3 to the power m1, 6 to the power n1. y can be written as 3 to the power m2, 6 to the power n2. And z can be written as 3 to the power m3 and 6 to the power n3. Where m1, m2, m3, n1, n2, n3 belongs to z. Now x into y into z, this can be written as 3 to the power m1, 6 to the power n1 into 3 to the power m2, 6 to the power n2 into 3 to the power m3, 6 to the power n3, which is further written as 3 to the power m1, 6 to the power n1 into 3 to the power m2 plus m3 and 6 to the power n2 plus n3, which is further written as 3 to the power m1 plus m2 plus n3 and 6 to the power n1 plus n2 plus n3 which is further written as 3 to the power m1 plus m2, 6 to the power n1 plus n2 into 3 to the power m3 into 6 to the power n3, which can be further written as 3 to the power m1, 6 to the power n1 into 3 to the power m2, 6 to the power n2 into 3 to the power m3, 6 to the power n3, which is further written as x, y into z. This implies x into y, z is equal to x, y into z. Since x, y and z are arbitrary element of q, this implies x into yz equal to xy into z for all xyz belongs to Q. Thus, associative property hold in Q. Let x is equal to 3 to the power m, 6 to the power n belongs to Q. And 3 to the power 0, 2 to the power 0 which is 1 belongs to Q. Such that x into 1 is equal to x equal to 1 into x. And this one is known as identity. Since x is an arbitrary element of Q, this implies x into 1 is equal to x equal to 1 into x for all x belongs to Q. Thus identity exists in Q. Let x is equal to 3 to the power m, 6 to the power n belongs to Q. And y which is 3 to the power minus m, 6 to the power minus n belongs to Q. Such that x into y is equal to 3 to the power m, 6 to the power n into 3 to the power minus m, 6 to the power minus n. Which can be written as 3 to the power 0 into 6 to the power 0 which is 1, which is equal to y into x. Here, y is known as inverse and 1 is the identity. Since x is an arbitrary element of q, this implies for every x belongs to q, there exists y belongs to q, such that x into y equal to 1 equal to y into x. Thus, for every element in q, inverse exists in q. Hence, the set of all rational number of the form 3 to the power m, 6 to the power n, where m n belongs to z is a group under multiplication. Question number 47. Prove that if g is a group with property that the square of every element is identity, then g is abelian. In order to solve the question, it is essential to learn the following result. Result. A group g under multiplication is said to be commutative group or abelian group. If x y equal to y x for all x comma y belongs to g, given g be a group with the property that for all x belongs to g such that x square equal to identity, 
let x comma y belongs to G. This implies x y belongs to G because of closure axiom and x square equal to identity and y square equal to identity because of the given condition. Since x y belongs to G, then by given condition x y square is equal to identity. Now x y square equal to identity which is further written as x y into x y equal to identity. Now multiply y on both sides we get x y x y square which is equal to e into y here y square is equal to identity and x y x into identity is equal to x y x and e into y is equal to y. This implies x y x is equal to y. Now multiply x on both side we get x y x square which is equal to y x here x square is equal to identity and x y into identity is equal to x y. This implies x y equal to y x. Since x and y are arbitrary element of G that satisfy x square equal to identity and y square equal to identity. This implies x y equal to y x for all x y belongs to G. Hence every group G with the property that square of every element is identity is an abelian group. Question number 48. Prove that the set of all 3 cross 3 matrices with real entries of the form 3 cross 3 matrix having of the form 1a b 0 1 c 0 0 1 is a group with respect to multiplication defined by this property. Let G be a set of all 3 cross 3 matrix having element 1a b 0 1 c 0 0 1 such that a b c belongs to R and multiplication be the boundary operation on G defined by this property. Let A and B belongs to G. This implies A is 3 cross 3 matrix having element 1A B 0 1 C 0 0 1 and B is 3 cross 3 matrix having element 1A dash B dash 0 1 C dash 0 0 1 where A B C A dash B dash C dash belongs to R. Now A B this is the product of A and B which is equal to this matrix. This is belongs to G. Why it is so? Because it is a 3 cross 3 matrix of the given type and A plus A dash, B dash plus A C dash plus B and C dash plus C belongs to R. Since A and B are arbitrary element of G, this implies A B belongs to G for all A B belongs to G. Thus G is closed under binary operation matrix multiplication. Since associative is the basic property in matrix multiplication. This implies A into B C is equal to A B into C for all A B C belongs to G. That A is 3 cross 3 matrix having element 1 A B 0 1 C 0 0 1 belongs to G. Then there exists a matrix I having element 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 belongs to G such that A into I is equal to A which is equal to I into A. Since A is the arbitrary element of G, this implies A into I equal to A equal to AI for all A belongs to G. Here I is known as identity matrix. Thus identity exists in G. Let A is 3 cross 3 matrix having element 1AB 01C 001 belongs to G. There exists a matrix B containing the element 1 minus A AC minus B. 0 1 minus C 0 0 1 belongs to G. Why it is so? Because it is the matrix of the given type. Here minus A, AC minus B and minus C belongs to R such that A into B is equal to identity. Here B is known as inverse of matrix A and B into A is also identity. Here B is known as inverse of A. Since A is an arbitrary element in G, this implies for every A belongs to G, there exists B belongs to G such that AB equal to I equal to B into A. Thus for every element in G, inverse exists in G. Hence set of all 3 cross 3 matrix with real entries of the form 1AB 01C 001 is a group under matrix multiplication. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you like the content, please do like, share and subscribe my channel. If you have any query, comment me. Thank you very much.